Hey YouTube, Goddess Lily. Today I have a 5 by 7 inch custom made lace front to show you. There is a lot of first um, about this unit. And uh, first of all, I will <clears throat> get into it and show you um, the specifics. So this is the unit. And this is the inside. This customer did not want any type of um, trim. She's going to be gluing it down. So let me give you a very, very good close up of the hairline. Okay. And let me try to part it for you. <clears throat> so I think I did email you that I emailed you back after you told me that you're going to be taping this down all the way around the perimeter. I emailed you back that yes, the knots are going to have to be bleached. So just to tell you a little bit about this hair, this hair is, this is all the hair I have left for you that's going back. This is organic synthetic hair. Now this was my very first time ever ventilating with this kind of hair. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've experienced no difference in ventilating with this hair as ventilating with regular cuticle hair. The best part with ventilating with this hair is there's no cuticle so you don't really have to worry about you know being so specific about having you know the cuticles flow in one direction or whatnot. <clears throat> so um, so this was my first time ever making a 5 by 7 unit and the customer sent me a template. So from her template, I made my own mold and I made it slightly larger than what she sent because this is a stretchable Swiss lace. And in my experience, after I finish ventilating, it's kind of always shrinks a little bit. So, you know, give you an idea of how stretchable it is. I love this lace because it doesn't fray at the end so when you're kind of cleaning off your glue or your tape you don't really have to worry about you know tearing the lace. So I did seal it. There is um, two coats of my Easy Tab and since I'm sponging it on now it's just I love how smooth the finish is. So Another first for me is I wanted to mention that my client is an international client. Client, She's from Amsterdam. And um, the last thing about this is I decided not to bleach the knots because this is um, organic hair and the only way you can bleach these knots is by using acetone. And she sent me the instructions, which I made a copy of, so I'll be sending that back to you of how to bleach the knots and basically you have to kind of just I think soak it, pull the pull the acetone in a plate and lay it down on the acetone and press it with a <clears throat> q-tip. Now it doesn't seem complicated but I read more of the details and it says that it bleaches really really quick and that you have to you know, take it up really quick. And my thing is, I'm not a licensed beautician and I'm not really <clears throat> familiar with dealing with chemicals such as acetone and meth and all this other stuff to bleach synthetic hair. So I prefer that she let her beautician do it. This hair, she sent two colors, like a, a light blonde and a dark blonde. So I blended it using a halco, and I think it came out really pretty. You can see all the different variations in the color. The hair was all one length, 22 inches, but it didn't come out. I started 
ventilating the bottom, folding the hair in half. So the bottom looks pretty um, nice. Well, it looks the whole unit looks nice, but the bottom is basically all one length because I was able to fold the length, the um, unit in half. But as I got kind of towards the mid part, I realized I was going to run out of hair, so I emailed her and we suggested cutting the hair in half. So of course it comes out to like 13 inches. So I ventilate it. We have a fold, and I decided not to trim the returns because I noticed that with this hair, it doesn't really lay down. So if I trim the returns, we'll have just a whole lot of spikes coming up. So I decided to leave the returns long. And since there is no cuticles, there's no point in trimming them because the hair is not gonna tangle or mat. Because what causes the hair to mat and tangle is that the cuticles are going in opposite directions once you create the return. So since there is no cuticles, we don't have to worry about the hair tangling. So I think you're going to be pretty happy with this unit. And um, we'll, you know, do the final invoicing and uh, add the shipping. I'm not sure how you want it shipped if you want it airmail. <clears throat> if you do want it airmail, I'm willing to split that cost with you as I do with most of my customers who are US based, I send your units to you insured and signature required in the priority mailbox or envelope. That is a flat rate of $10. Well, not a flat rate, it comes out to $10. So what I do is split that, bill you for five and I pay the other five. Okay, so we'll figure out how we want this shipped if you want it regular mail or air mail. Either way, um, the cost will be split with me. And so once again, this is your unit. Came out very beautifully. It was such a joy working with this hair, although I do not want to work with any more organic hair. I prefer um, human hair, it's just a preference. Okay, so there you have it. And um, thank you for watching.